So in the market for a new house, I mean, it's easy enough to find ones to look at. Zillow will buy it. Yeah, Zillow will. You can go buy one from Zillow. Uh, but setting your sights on an affordable house is a little bit trickier. And there's a new article from USA Today that compiles the top five most affordable and least affordable metropolitan areas in the United States. So you guys, Indianapolis is the most affordable city. That's where you could move. You first. I think people like Indianapolis. They have that uh, raceway. I've been there a couple there times. Yeah. It's affordable. Pleasant. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm with Miles. I'm just going to stay there. It's a pleasant place, I'm <laughs> sure. sure. Uh, good basketball team. Yeah. Colts should be good this year. Here you go. Okay. No so baseball, though. So 14% of the homes in Indianapolis are affordable, which is crazy that that's what is the most affordable? affordable. Yes, that's a good question. Because that depends it, from market to market. Yes. And, you know, they're taking the amount where how much people get paid, with what house it costs. It shouldn't become, it shouldn't be no surprise that San Jose, San Diego, San Francisco, and Los Angeles, they said they had zero, zero percent of the homes are affordable. So I, I, I do, I get it. Those yeah. are expensive markets. Um, but I, I sometimes wonder with this sort of data, yeah. if, if we are kind of doing the, you know, the ad absurdum version of affordability here, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you want to live in a place, or sometimes it's okay if you break some magical threshold of how much of your income you should be spending on housing. One, it might not be a permanent situation for you. Um, two, uh, it might not be quite as unsustainable as some PF experts would have you believe. And three, these are generally pretty good places to live. San Jose is great. It is, and I would actually maybe take that question further and say, well, do you have to own a home? Sure. You know, because if you want to live in a certain city, which I often sort of decide the city first before you figure right. out the affordability, mm -hmm. yep. you know, does it matter if you have, yeah. if you own a home? You're, you're, one of the, you're one of the few people who moved to New York and it's more affordable than the place that they used exactly. to live. Exactly, well, because they're from Hong Kong. Right. I mean, you know, that, that's shocking, right? I mean, it's, when was the last time you looked yeah. at homes in New York and you're like, man, this is so much cheaper. Look at all the space I get. And imagine how much you can get in Indianapolis for that money. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, I do think that the, the, there is an idea here. Um, I was talking about this with someone actually just the other day about, you know, m remote work mm. is a thing that is accelerating. Yes, and, the future. And in an alternate universe, maybe I would try to do. I have friends who moved to Charlotte. They work. Can I give you the other place here? I mean, that's a possibility, but. Yeah. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be the, the end all be all. Okay, it doesn't have to be in Indianapolis either. It could be uh, Pittsburgh, <laughs> Oklahoma City, Cincinnati. People like Cincinnati. I'll Birmingham, take... Alabama, I was just there. I, I lived in Alabama once. Yeah, so those were the, the five cities. And, you know, they are just to a point. I'm surprised point, Columbus isn't on there. Not in there, not in the top five. You know, they, Columbus, they... Raleigh are usually popular picks here. They what are, what the are the jobs value. that are available? What are the what? In Birmingham, Alabama. What are, what are some of the jobs? Medical. UAB, Tourism. medical, huge. I went there on a tour, as a tourist. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so it just it they, is called the Iron City. So they are that. taking the current value of all homes in the largest 50 metro areas, calculated how much the median income could afford. Mm. Uh, that was there, the way that they did it with Trulia. So yeah, I don't know, Birmingham. No, you guys aren't moving to any of these places. We're sticking no. in New York, I guess, is what we've just. I mean, I, I looked at the list and I thought, oh, all the places that I would like to live in are at the bottom of the list. <laughs> the so New York, San list. Francisco, my home city of LA. I mean, these are where all the jobs yeah. are as well, right? In terms of the growth jobs, is that is that a fair? I think it's fair, and that's why they're trying. So many people are trying to get venture capital and other companies to move jobs. Which is what Steve Case has to been these doing. other places. Yeah. I have a pitch for Yahoo Finance. We should move where to Birmingham. We should set up like a studio in Columbus, mm -hmm. Ohio, or something, or in what Raleigh. What companies would you cover out of Columbus, Ohio? All the retailers. You know, they're all there. Raleigh, you could cover all the software companies. Yeah. I'm pitching it. Miles is moving to Columbus. Someone fund me.